We want to turn to politics now in the Republican race for president. A major headline from the weekend, former Vice President Mike Pence has decided to drop out of the race. And just this morning, a new Des Moines Register NBC News media com poll is out, and it shows some movement in the fight for second place. Former President Trump still far ahead of the pack, despite his mounting legal troubles and not participating in any debate. So here to break down the numbers is NBC national political correspondent Steve Karnacki. Steve, I guess we kind of call it the undercard race, but just give us the top lines here. What does the poll show yeah. in Iowa? Yeah, here's the bottom line. 76 days until the big day in Iowa. And as you mentioned, Donald Trump continuing to lead overwhelmingly here. Uh, notably, DeSantis, who's been running in second all year, now joined by Nikki Haley in second place. Uh, that Trump lead, though, I think one number to keep in mind here is we ask folks, are, is your mind made up? Are you definitely for the candidate? Nearly two-thirds of Trump voters say, that's it. My, I'm settled. Nobody else has a depth of support that matches that. So it's not just that he's that far ahead. A lot of that support looks like it's locked in. Yeah, and by the way, brings up the point made again and again and again, if you want to take on Trump, the, the other Republicans, you got to get down to a two-person race. Nikki Haley's the one who's got a little momentum right now. Yeah, I mean, this is what the momentum looks like, because we took this poll in August, and you see back then she was at 6%. She's gained 10 points in Iowa in our poll since August. Actually, DeSantis has dropped three, so that's movement in both directions there. One thing I think to keep in mind with Haley, though, where is this support coming from? Here's the group I think that powers her more than anything else. It's independence. Now, they're not a huge part of the Iowa caucus electorate, but they are part of it. And look at this. She's over 20 percent, clearly doubling up DeSantis among the independents. If Haley wants to move up further in Iowa and elsewhere, she's going to have to get more core Republicans and she's going to have to find a way to eat into that Trump support. Now, we just mentioned that former Vice President Mike Pence dropped out in Iowa. Iowa was his strategy evangelical base, very big there. Those are, I mean, he's a true believer. He's one of them, and it never caught on. Why? And he absolutely believed this was the right strategy in the right state. Two-thirds of caucus goers are evangelical Christians. He was practically camping out there. Two things that jump out about Pence. Number one, the favorable, unfavorable number. This is among Republican voters. Look at where Pence was, because uh, this poll was taken just before he dropped out. He was 65% unfavorable among wow. Iowa Republicans. And I think this was the shocker for me. We specifically looked at the evangelical vote in Iowa. And again, taken just days before Pence dropped out, look where he was running with evangelicals. 1%. So again, somebody who thought he had a particular bond with evangelical voters, turns out it was a one-way bond. He was losing 43 to 1 to Trump among what was supposed to be his core group. All right, Steve Kornacki, thank you very much. All right, Savannah, thank you. We got a lot. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.